Right. Right, everyone, guess what? I've just had to get over that wall. I got lost in the mist. If you remember the last video I did, I was lost. Well, I've just had to climb. Fortunately, it was a big gap there. Because just up there in the mist is um, a big herd of cows. Something coming along now. Yeah, I, fortunately, I got lost. I got totally lost and I saw what looked like fresh pack. There's something coming along now. I'll just get out the way. That's it. I just seen the outline of dark shapes. Fortunately, they didn't move. Now, I was lucky back there. I just ended up where there was a gap. If it had been here, I would have had difficulty. Big difficulty. Because there was no fence to hook yourself up on. No fence to hook yourself up on there. And, uh, see the cows there? And there's lots of them. This is the mist, don't forget. Right? There's lots of cows there, lots. <sighs> that was, that was really, really lucky that I came across that bit of fencing. I was so close to walking straight into them. What they would have done, I don't know. But I would have struggled to have got... I can see more more in the mist. I would have struggled to get over this wall here. Hello? Right, Mouse? I would have avoided you lot completely if I hadn't got lost further over. Right? I got lost. I knew there was a big herd in there. Let me take your picture. I'll just turn off a minute. Now, there we are. There we've got the sheep. The, the cows. I, would, I only managed to escape just down there. I would have walked straight into you. Christ knows what would have happened. God, that's scary. I'm a bit worried about doing the rest of the bloody walk, to tell the truth. <sighs> Bye then. Bye, Moo Moos. Bloody hell. That was a, what you call a close shave. I'm on a track now that's going to take me down past the aerodrome. Um, the cops that I would have passed and the remote island, uh, the, the remote cottage by the cops will be right over there. What I've done, I went, veered to my right and I should have kept to my left. But as you can see, there's lots of cows in here. And there'll be more than just those there. Oh God, that was lucky. Good job I seen them. I mean, they could have been circling me for all I know. I've now got the dangerous task of walking down this track. Right, so that was a very, very, very close encounter, everyone. And that, as, as you know, I got lost. If I'd gone on my original track, I wouldn't have ended up where these cows are down here. Right? I would have been going further up, but it's not to say that they might not have been by the cops. Um, but I'm glad to be back out on the road, to tell the truth, because if it hadn't been for that car, by the way, that went by just before I even knew about the cows. If that car hadn't gone by, I wouldn't have known, being over there in the mist, I wouldn't have known the road was there. You can see why people get lost on Dartmoor and that. I know I would have got to Piney Slikes eventually. I know I would have. Something coming. Something coming. 
Let me just let that go by. Same car again. Right, over and out. Right, I'm just passing the Mendip Gliding Club now on my way down this lane towards Draycott. But I'm, I'm still going to carry on my walking. It's just only sort of half past one-ish. I've um, videoed the glider sometimes. They take off from here. They're towed up and then they sort of get in the thermals and whiz around the slights. Um, yeah, I think it's too early to give up. I got wet. My right foot's soaking wet. Uh, it's a bit of an anomaly, you know. Um, whenever I get a pair of boots, shoes, anything, it's always my right foot that lets in the water. Now, why is that? Why isn't the left one? Right, uh, across there is the copse and the isolated cottage that I should have passed. But because I went towards the right back there after... I, I, at one point I knew where I was and then I, I, I did bear too much to the right and I should have gone back in that field and pursued left more. Like I said, even in the daylight, with bright sunshine and blue sky, the actual style back there where I got lost is very difficult to see. And that's in the daytime, uh, you know, with blue sky. I, I have, I've got lost once before, but not as bad as that. And the cows were there. I had a very lucky escape. And they might not have hurt me. But I don't know how, I bet there was a, quite a few in there and I could tell those cow packs were different and they were fresh. So I, I was very, very lucky because if I hadn't seen that car, I wouldn't have known the road was here. I wouldn't have known because I've never walked down this side in on the grass before. Try gliding. It's just a different experience in the mist, isn't it? Now here we've got what's called a water pan that might have been repaired by the farmer. There's a lot around um, Cheddar area of these water pans. Some are fenced off as well for some reason. And that's a natural little pond really. Like I say, it's a different feeling in the mist, but why not walk in the mist? You know, why not? Why not enjoy this experience? The trees look different. They still want to be seen and said hello to. In a minute, when I get down here a bit, there will be the style I should have come across after leaving the copse and the isolated cottage. But never mind, we don't always have to do everything exactly the same. But I did have a feeling that cows, those cows I've seen, I did have a feeling. I didn't realise I'd gone that far down. I was saved by a car. And I was saved by a decent gap where there was no other to get through and escape. And the cows did not move at that time. Let them go. They did not move at that time. And, um, which was fortunate for me. That they had not moved. Very fortunate. Because <clears throat> they got a bit curious once I went up to the fence and I started talking to them. They became curious. All well, this land over here is part of the um, floating aeroplane place, gliders, and it leads on to, Pine, uh, to uh, Draycott Slights, which I'm not going to climb up today. But there is still risk of cow. Now I've walked through Piney um, Draycott Slights a lot. I've walked hundreds of times with cows in there and, it, and I've not been bothered by them will they be spooked by the mist 
something else coming. So that go. So I'll turn it off for a minute. I'm getting some funny looks from slow driving cars. <laughs> They're waving at me. There's a woman with a really good umbrella walking in the countryside covered in mud. And this is what we do in England. We're renowned for being silly. Another car coming. Get up. <coughs> Just get up. She'll <coughs> let it pass. There's some bikes coming now. <coughs> Cyclists. No lights on. No lights. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got a light on my head either. <laughs> I can get knocked over, couldn't I? I thought the cyclist would have them on though. Oh, he's got one on the back. <sighs> so we're nearly approaching the area now where I will go through the muddy swamps of Draycott Slights. I was going to climb up them, but I'm not going to risk it in the mist. <clears throat> it's too dodgy. I don't feel like a hill climb, but I'm going to have to walk through a swamp. Um... In a way, I'm quite relieved I've had a break from the muddy fields, muddy wet fields. Uh, it's been an experience and I've learned a few things. You always do when you've got to get through barbed wire. I'm getting quite good at it. <sighs> Don't push your luck though, girl. Don't push your luck. Bloody lucky, you know. I mean, my bag got caught. My coat got a bit caught. It's a good job the cows stayed like statues and were just watching me. Well, I scrambled under this barbed wire fence. Good job, wasn't it? They were big. I think they might be beef cattle. Right then, I'm going to turn off for a minute because the camera won't like this mist. Over and out. <laughs>